All right, so here we have a problem, and it's going to be finding angle measures given some parallel lines and a transversal, which also creates a triangle here. But we were given some information that will help us find this missing angle, CAE. And the information given is that angle ABC is 42 degrees, angle BAC is 105 degrees, and that line BC here is parallel to line DE. Right here. So these two lines are parallel. <clears throat> C and F lie on a straight line. So C, that's just saying that this, these two points here, C here and F, they create a straight line, which we, we can we know that that's a, um, it can either be a transversal between these two parallel lines, but it also it can help us know that some of these angles in here may be supplementary then, that when added together, they would equal 180 degrees. So let's, let's get back to the problem. So we have CAE, the angle right here that we need to find. And the good thing about this, this section of geometry is that there are a lot of different methods to solve it. But, and knowing many of them will help you find other problems that you may encounter. But the first method that I'm going to do is I know that I see this CAE here and I, I want to use some of the angle relationships that occur during, with parallel lines and a transversal. And I have this transversal here that intersects FC and two parallel lines, DE and BC. And what I know is that angles on the inside are called interior angles. And in this case, angle CAE and angle CBA, or BCA, excuse me, are alternate interior angles. And the thing that I know about alternate interior angles Excuse my handwriting here. Uh, that alternate interior angles are that they are congruent. And all that congruent means in geometry is that they are equivalent or the same. So if I could figure out what this angle is here, I would have a better chance I would know what CAE is. So now I'm going to apply another skill necessary, and that's identifying that this shape in here, this shape right here, is a triangle. And I know, and hopefully you remember, that tri the sum of the angles of a triangle, the interior angles of a triangle, add up to 180 degrees. And hopefully that does ring a bell for you. So what I can do here is... I can find this missing angle by adding up these two angles here and subtracting from 180. So what I'll do is I know that 105 plus 42 is 147. So I'm going to subtract 147 from the 180 degree angle. And I'll borrow one here. It's 3, 3, and 1 minus 1 is here. So just 33 degree angle. Right here is a 33 degree angle. So now I have the 100, when I would add up all of these numbers here, I would add up 180 degrees. But what I also did was I solved CAE because from before they are alternate interior angles. This BCA and CAE are alternate interior. So I know that this angle here is also 33 degrees.